Nordic Semiconductor and Garmin share a long history together. Our cooperation started at the beginning of this century. At the time, we were developing our first 2.4 GHz radio, and Dynastream, who was later acquired by Garmin, were developing the Ant protocol. Like a match made in heaven, we got together and supported our first customer in the sports market. And just one year later, the first Ant-based sports products hit the shelves. This was 17 years ago. And at the time, we had other customers trying to solve the same architectural challenges on their own, spending up towards three years to get into consumers' hands. Witnessing firsthand how other companies were working hard to solve what Ant had already solved, it was obvious to us that we needed to make Ant easily available to everyone. NRF24 AP1 was the first baby born out of the cooperation between our two companies. It marked a new beginning for us both. Ant had found a home on our hardware, and at Nordic, we had our first SOC with an embedded software stack. Suddenly, we could take product development to a whole new level, making it easier and faster for our customers to create products and cut time to market significantly. Another major benefit, and quite revolutionary at the time, was the interoperability that the Ant stack provided. Suddenly, manufacturers could make devices that connected to the Ant ecosystem and was interoperable with other manufacturers' products. This opened opportunities and collaborations that had not been possible before. A whole new range of device categories spawned out of this and Ant quickly became the de facto standard in sports. One of the reasons Ant and Nordic got married in the first place was our common vision of a low power connectivity platform. Low power has been in Nordic's DNA since the beginning of time and it was very refreshing meeting another company with the same vision. We always design for battery operation because that is fundamental to most of our customers and we keep perfecting the technology to meet the requirements of an ever-demanding market. When we started this journey together almost 20 years ago, we revolutionized the sports market, moving it from simple 5 kHz radios to advanced 2.4 GHz system on chips. In 2012, we stepped it up with the NRF51 series, moving from a traditional 8-bit microcontroller to a higher performance, lower power 32-bit ARM core system. In 2015, we made a new leap forward with the NRF52 series, and in 2019, we did it again. Once more, we pushed the envelope, bringing out a dual-core SoC with lower power consumption, higher performance, and more bells and whistles than ever before. With the NRF5340, we have made a huge leap in software development. We now have a platform called NRF Connect SDK, and it's a common platform for all our connectivity products, short range, cellular, and our upcoming Wi-Fi products. It supports technologies like Bluetooth Low Energy, Thread, Zigbee, LTM, Nerban IoT, GPS, and next year, also Ant. NRF Connect SDK is built around the open source, low power, real-time operating system Zephyr, enabling more modular, portable, and reusable software development, encouraging innovation and faster time to market. Another benefit of our platform is the capability of combining technologies like Ant and Bluetooth Low Energy into a single SOC. Today's connected world is driven by cloud connectivity, and to get data from an Ant device to the cloud, you have to go through a gateway like a smartphone. The easiest way to connect to a smartphone is by using Bluetooth Low Energy. Using a Nordic SoC, you can maintain cloud connectivity with Bluetooth while at the same time using Ant as your preferred technology in your local network. If you want to learn more about how you can connect your products, come visit us at nordicsemi.com.